years. That's the word I was looking for. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back. I have created, I don't even know what I'm calling this yet actually, so let's come up with something. How about a majestic flower fairy? Does that work? <laughs> I don't know what this is called, but this is something that I was eager to create because I had this vision of this eye look and I wanted to use something fun, which is these little gold fleck pieces that I found off of Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. They're super beautiful and fun for any kind of look. I will say pain in the butt to apply. So I fast forwarded through a bunch of me applying them at the end of this video because it took me quite some time between that and using Aquaphor as an adhesive to get them to stick. Tweezers, fingers, I didn't know how to do it, but I've got gold fleck everywhere. But you know what? It looks pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> so if you'd like to see how I created this entire look, the products I used to create this beautiful green color on my eyes, and then the fun new colors and gloss I opened up to create this lip color, then keep on watching. And as always, make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram and let me know what you think when I post up the picture of this look. Please tell me your thoughts. It means the world to me to hear what you think of these creations. All right, guys, let's get on into the video. Hey sweet friends, I am starting off today's look with concealer. I have already applied my color corrected tinted moisturizer and my foundation and I actually already have my brows done with Mocha Java and Smoked Topaz. So I have gone in with the color Snow underneath my eyes and now I'm just going in with light concealer over top of that. This is a new little duo that I've been trying out. I had a bunch of followers asking me if I've ever tried the light concealer under my eyes and I had not and I didn't know how the consistency would do but it's actually awesome and it's a little bit more coverage, um, actually a lot more coverage than Sandstone Pearl if you have tried that one and you just want a little bit extra, I recommend the light concealer. And then you can also use it to cover your blemishes if you have heavy acne or major scarring from when you used to have acne. Um, it's just a really good product. Um, and then I went in with my natural translucent setting powder and I set my makeup. I don't have to do that, but I do it because the powder actually has a slight coverage to it as well. So I also get the feel that I like with getting just even more coverage. And I feel like my skin, I could just take all the coverage that I can get. Um, so then I went in and I added bronze blush scents to do a slight contour, but I wanted to deepen it up a little bit, so I went ahead and did bronze dust over the top of that just to add a little bit of shimmer and deepen the contour itself. I really wanted this eye look to be the star of the show, so I did minimal makeup on the rest of my face to not take away from that. And right here, I'm just pre-mixing Onyx and Palm Glitter Shadow Scents. Onyx is our pure black, and Palm Glitter is like a bright green um, shadow with glitter flex in it. It's really pretty. I wanted to create this hunter green type color that I was envisioning, but Cenogens doesn't carry anything like that. So I just decided to make my own and it turned out perfect. Is that not beautiful? And I'm just kind of smoking that out on my lid, uh, all the way up to my eyebrow, going through my eyebrow to my temple, just to get this really cool kind of like windblown airbrushed look almost. I don't really have a rhyme or reason as to why I did it, <laughs> but it was something that I liked and that I wanted to create. And so I just went ahead and applied that underneath my lower lash line as well to create a really cohesive look altogether. I truly love the versatility of shadow scents that you can use it all over your entire face, not only for eyeshadow, but for brows, contour, blush. You can even put it on your lips. You can do it as a highlight, all kinds of things that you can use it for, for your face. But not only that, you can premix colors and make a new color if you don't have something that you want. So it's just super fun. And there's a bunch of options. I know that Cenogens is known for lip scents because that's just the magical product, having an 18 plus hour long wearing lipstick that doesn't move, but I feel like shadow senses are just the hidden gem in this company. They're so versatile and just so much fun. And they're cream to powder formula as well, so you can place them wherever you want them and then they turn into a powder form, so they're really easy to work with. You have about one to two minutes before it completely sets and then doesn't go anywhere. 
So I applied my mascara and lashes off camera and I'm just going in and adding a little bit of silver rose powder over top of the blush scents and I did, or over top of the bronze dust, excuse me. I did that because I wanted a little bit more warmth and shimmer. I really wanted like a shimmery type look because I'm gonna be adding really cool gold flecks you saw at the beginning of this video onto my eyes. They're so fun. They're a pain in the butt to apply, but they're super fun and pretty when they're on. So now I'm going ahead and applying my lip scents. I'm applying one layer of this color called Giddy Up. This actually came out a month ago with this collection called Cowgirl Collection. It's like this dark purple um, mauve kind of color. It's very pretty, but I decided to lighten it up and I added two layers over top of it with a color called Bravo, which is extremely light. It's very similar to the color First Love, but even lighter if you are familiar with Lip Sense colors. Just as I mentioned with the Shadow Sense, Lip Sense is super versatile in the fact that you can layer colors or premix colors to create whatever combination you want. Um, I think if you get like three colors of lip scents, you end up having 27 different color options, which is just insane. Like there's endless opportunities with that. Um, I wanted to make this look extra fun and try out a new gloss. So I opened the gloss called opal gloss which is an iridescent kind of sheen to it it's very pretty but i wanted to show there that i used my finger to rub the gloss in so that it was not so crazy and pigmented there at the very beginning so hopefully you saw that you can apply it but then you can use your finger to kind of rub it off and then it's not so intense if you're not all about that so you can really have control of your look so now I'm going in and applying that gold fleck that we were talking about. I'm using Aquaphor as my adhesive because that's what I use on my kids' diaper rashes and we have tons of it in my house. You could also use Vaseline. I've heard that eyelash glue will work as well. I don't know how fun that would be to take off, but I just went ahead and applied that all over my lids there. I cut a ton of that out, you guys. It was not the easiest thing to do. I recommend using tweezers and just kind of touching it into the aquaphor and touching them to your eyes. That was the easiest solution. I added this little flower crown and now I have okay, a little fairy. Guys, so I was just about to wash my face. I pulled my hair back and I took off my dress um, to get ready. And I, when I pulled my hair back, I was like, <gasps> I see like a whole new inspiration for this look, like not going the flower fairy route, but instead doing this in more of like a, galaxy maybe type look or something where you could like pull your hair back in a slicked back ponytail like get it really tight and slicked back and like a high top pony and then do a really bold lip or even leave it like this but just do like a little more extreme in the eye add some more depth to it or even just leave it like this and like wear an all black outfit I don't know like I just kind of pulled my hair back and I was like wow now I see less like majestic soft fairy and now I see more like um I don't even know like sassy stealthy something more what is the word like why are adjectives leaving my brain hopefully you guys get where I'm going with this and that you could just like slick it back full black outfit make it really sexy and bold and fierce okay well y'all know where I'm going with this but anyway I just wanted to come on here and share that really quickly because I saw that and I was like ooh two costumes in one, just lose the dress, lose the flowers, add some sexy clothes, bam, whole nother makeup look. Two for the price of one is my kind of deal. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching.